this project in general, um, it's not like any other project that you really will find. Um, from the small things of you know, using the right studs that, that, that we've put into this building to the amenities of having you know, Italian design kitchens, heated floors in the bathrooms, exposed ductwork, um, backsplashes by Porcelanosa, um, integrated iPod docks, and putting a virtual uh, do doorman system into the building. So we've really stepped the bar up. We, um, we do our research, you know, we're very into the design and construction aspect of everything. We're not your regular developer that uh, is off to the side and does not know what's going on with the project. We are the general contractor as well, so we're very hands-on, always here, every step of the way. Uh, we have you know a say in the decision process so really what you see here is our vision you know we uh, you know we really have worked <laughs> many hours and hours on trying to get this building perfect and uh, it speaks a lot at the end when three of us are actually going to be moving into here so I don't know how many developers you're gonna find to move into their own project uh, but we are moving in here because we, you know, we think this building is an amazing, amazing building in, uh, in a great area that is very up and coming and is going to be the new uh, you know, revitalization of Jersey City here. We have great subcontractors here. We really do. There, there's some of the subcontractors we've used in past projects. Um, on some, you know, you know it, so it's really, it's been, you know, without the help of them, you know, we wouldn't be to the, to the you know, point that we are at right now. I mean, basically, you know, uh, after we got our final permits to start our framing and all rough work with the internal building, it, it took us to rough out this building only four months. I mean, that in itself is a huge feat. You know, that's six hour days, you know, I mean, six hour, you know, six day work weeks, you know, working 10 hour days sometimes. Taking a building that was built 100 years ago and restoring it to the present day age is uh, is nothing you know like you will ever see. It, it really takes uh, a lot of time, hard work, and dedication that all of us have, have put in here. And the only way that we would have gotten to this point is through the teamwork that, that we have. Uh, you know, we're only a company of, of four people, mm -hmm. and uh, for the four people, we uh, we put in a, a lot of time. And uh, you know we are detail oriented, and everything we do here, you know, we want to be spot on. We're, we're not going to take something that is, uh, you know, it's like oh well, that's okay, you know, it's not 100 percent. We want 120 percent on on every aspect, from the roughing to the finish work. The biggest challenge is every time you open something up in an old building, you find something else that's wrong. Every time you go to do something, you. You physically have to plan out how to attack it so you secure it so nothing collapses while you're building, of course. All, all this uh, steel that we put to get this building secure, I mean, we would have to do some steel here, steel there, steel columns, get that, then take the walls down. To build these two additional floors, we have to install 44 steel I-beams on the existing roof, 24 inches thick. Wow. So we had to lay it all out, coincide with the bearing walls that are going to be holding up the floors above it. So all that had to go in, be mathematically schemed out, to be put down in the right locations, supported on the existing brick walls and the perimeters. Once that's done, you have to come and build the floors, build the walls, then build the other floors. Then repeat the process until you get to the final product. Okay. And all this, the perimeter is all done in blocks, so we have to have wider steel beams for all the beams. We have a seven foot setback from the existing building. So we had a wider beam with the block going up there for our bearing on the outside. When you, when you see a building that is just dilapidated, in very rough shape, and you turn it back into what it originally was, right. and you, you just make it appealing again. Something that was dead, you bring it back to life, which is very, very nice to see. To try and save this building, it, the man hours involved is twice as much as building or building from ground up. You know, nobody really just wants to come to work and go home. That's not me. I want to come to work, do something that, that stands out. Like I have my friends and family, everyone, we're proud of this building, everyone's proud of us. It's just a great showpiece for Brunelleschi to have. This area, Hudson County, is where I live. Mm -hmm. I'd love to keep staying in Hudson County and rev revitalizing buildings in this area.